in a popularly constituted system of society such men as these would be regarded as a danger to the community and would be placed under such restraint as would effectually prevent them from harming themselves or others these wretches had abandoned every thought and thing that tends to the elevation of humanity they had given up everything that makes life good and beautiful in order to carry on a mad struggle to acquire money which they would never be sufficiently cultured to properly enjoy deaf and blind to every other consideration to this end they had degraded their intellects by concentrating them upon the minutest details of expense and profit and for their reward they raked in their harvest of muck and lucre along with the hatred and curses of those they injured in the process they knew that the money they accumulated was foul with the sweat of their brother men and wet with the tears of little children but they were deaf and blind and callous to the consequences of their greed there was no reason to believe or hope that the existing state of things would be altered for a long time to come and for the greater number of people life was one long struggle against poverty yet practically none of these people knew or even troubled themselves to inquire why they were in that condition and for anyone else to try to explain to them was a ridiculous waste of time for they did not want to know the remedy was so simple the evil so great and so glaringly evident that the only possible explanation of its continued existence was that the majority of his fellow workers were devoid of the power of reasoning if these people were not mentally deficient they would of their own accord have swept this silly system away long ago it would not have been necessary for anyone to teach them that it was wrong 